In this video tutorial, you're going to get an overview of the billing profile page. This is the information your customers will never see. It's used for internal purposes only as it relates to the billing information on your account, you know, that includes your credit card information, login information, username and password, and stuff like that. Come on, let's check out this video tutorial. This is very important for you to know. Let's go over it right now. The information on this page is used by MyMarketingCart.com whenever we need to contact you. Please ensure that the billing information you have entered matches the information that appears on your credit card billing statement. That part needs to be secure, tight, and up to date. If your account is set to auto renew, this information should match what is attached to your credit card as this is where we will pull the information from when we renew your account on a monthly or annual basis. The first section of fields found on this page are used for our internal purposes in the event that we need to contact you regarding your account with us. Also, if you are promoting our system, this information is also used for payment. For example, we'll issue commission checks to you in the name that appears in the billing name field. So make sure we have your name spelled right and everything. Billing name. Enter the name that appears on your credit card billing statement. Billing email. Enter the email address at which we can reach you. Also, if you lose your password, it is this email address to which we'll resend your password to. So make sure this email address is current and active and that you have access to it. And hopefully, no one else. <laughs> Business phone. Enter the phone number at which we can reach you if we need to contact you by telephone, which we rarely do. 99% of the time, we'll be contacting you via email. Home phone. Enter a second telephone number to which we can also reach you if we need to contact you. This number is optional. Billing company. Enter the name of your company, especially if it is listed on your credit card billing statement. Billing address 1. Billing address 2. Enter the billing address that appears on your credit card billing statement. And if you need a second line for more information as it relates to your billing address, go ahead and enter that information here. Billing city. Enter the city that appears on your credit card billing statement. Billing state or province. Enter the state or province that is associated with your credit card billing statement. Zip postal code. Enter the zip code that appears on your credit card billing statement. Billing country. Enter the country that appears on your credit card billing statement. PayPal email address. If you would prefer receiving commission payments via PayPal and not check, simply enter your PayPal email address in this field. Otherwise, leave it blank and we'll send you your commission checks via check. Below this first section, you will see a status summary section with a single field that you can use as a reference to see the shopping cart package you are currently using. Next, you'll find the payment information section. Since we automatically rebill your account for renewals, it is important to ensure that this information is always up to date in order to prevent your account from expiring accidentally or being temporarily put on hold, which would prevent some of the functionality of the shopping cart to be halted. So, You'll find these options in this section. Credit card number. Here's where you can confirm or update your credit card information. Expiration date. This is your credit card's expiration date. If you get a new card issued by your bank and it gets mailed to you and you receive it in the mail, well, make sure you come into here and you update this credit card information with your new credit card information. Always keep your credit card with us on file up to date. And then the last section called Other Information, provides the following fields. URL. Enter your website address in this field. Username. You can use this field to change your account username at any time. Warning. Modifying your account username will also modify and change the direct subscribe email addresses for your autoresponders. If you are using any direct subscribe email addresses, ensure you understand the decision you are making before changing your username. 
If you don't have any autoresponders that might be affected by changing your username, and in most cases you don't, then you can change your username at any time and not be concerned with this issue. But this is where you change your username, especially if you own the account and then let's say you have a webmaster that no longer works for you. Well, you might want to change the username or you can simply change the password. Here's where you can change the password to your account. If you'd like to change your password, you may do so right here. Enter your new password and then re-enter your new password where it says enter again to verify. If you're changing your password, enter the new one here again to verify it. And then enter your current password right here. To change your password, enter the current password on the account right now, which is the soon to be old password. Press the Save Changes button when you're done to save your changes. Now, a little tip for passwords and usernames and changing them and all that stuff. When you're about to change your username or you're about to change your password, before you hit the Save Changes button, take a moment and write down on a piece of paper the username and the password, the new password and the old one. Keep that information offline on a piece of paper in a folder that is safe and secure, of course, to yourself. This way, if something were to go wrong and what password did I enter? What was the username? <laughs> I know I just entered it a minute ago, but oh, I forgot it. You wrote it down before you hit the Save Changes button. That's just smart thinking. Anyhow, that's it. That was a quick overview of the billing profile page. This is where you'll update your credit card information so that your account remains active. And this is where you can change your username and password anytime you want on the billing profile page inside your account using mymarketingcart.com.